two were just reconning because they don't want us on the mountain at night uh, for safety reasons, um, insurance reasons, etc. So essentially we're going to find a section of the mountain that we can run on or a section of public land that we can run on and accumulate elevation. So it'll likely be on a trail off the side of the road someplace just running up and down hill all night. My name is Evan Preparis, professional obstacle course racer and special forces soldier. I'm here at Stratton, Vermont at Tuffman, New England. I'm going to be climbing the height of Everest while doing obstacles to raise money for Infinite Hero Foundation. Infinite Hero Foundation provides support to our soldiers returning home from combat, both mentally and physically. The plan is to multi-lap the course, gain elevation, totaling in 29,029 feet over the course of about 24 plus hours while doing obstacles. I've done a lot of really long endurance events, 12 hour, 24 hour. I created my own for charity, doing 24 hours on a treadmill. I've done 48 hour multi laps. I've done eight days, eight venues, eight OCR marathons in the winter. So, you know, I've got a good experience base. That being said, mountains are a different story. I, I'm, I'm not known as a mountain runner. So I was like, all right, well, let's, uh, let's do something that's way outside my comfort zone. Uh, let's do elevation. So here we are and driving up, you know, I, I look at the mountain and I immediately second guess all my life choices that have led me to this point. It's going to take me probably over 24 hours. So is there going to be a point when I physically can't take one more step? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Tough Mudder, you know, they have a saying that, you know, no one's better than your best, but your best will make you better. You know, I get that from Sean Corvell, the, the mirror man at Enveree's Tough Mudder start line. And uh, that's what we're going to find out today. We got the support of the Tough Mudder community. I got some great pacers with me. I got some good friends. And uh, I'm going to see what I'm made of. When training or competing at altitude, your heart has to work a lot harder. Due to the less partial pressure of oxygen in the air, you're not getting as much oxygen with each breath. So your heart pumps a little bit harder, so it's gonna cause an increase in heart rate, uh, which means you're gonna feel more tired. There's also, you know, we're not that high, but I am gonna be competing or training for a long time. There's a small possibility of altitude sickness. Um, the elevation is really what I'm worried about because, you know, every step, really stresses your muscles in a very specific way. So when I did, I did a 24 hour treadmill OCR a couple years ago, and I was like, oh, well it's flat, it should be no problem. But the problem was every foot strike was exactly the same, which means it's stressing the exact same part of the muscle on every step, which when you add that up over 24 hours, it really destroys your body. And in, like 24 hours on a treadmill hurt me a lot worse than I thought it would. So this is similar, except instead of every foot strike being flat, every foot strike is now angled. Yeah, so I'm doing a charity event where I, I'm climbing the height of Everest over the next 24 hours. Oh, nice. <laughs> so get you some in there, huh? <laughs> this is the beginning. Down 11,000 feet, about 32 and a half miles. I'm tired, <laughs> which is not really a surprise. Um, people were asking me how I'm feeling. I felt better. I've also felt worse. So we're not at rock bottom yet, but we'll get there. And um, yeah, it's about to start getting dark here. And I've only seen one bear, so that's good. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll keep moving through the night and try to look big if we see a bear. Well, 
Yeah. A couple hours ago, I started feeling super sleepy and uh, took some caffeine, kind of rejuvenated myself, but I was starting to drone pretty bad. We're like, if you're walking, you kind of fall asleep and you start to like start drifting off the road a little bit. I'm making good time using the road. Uh, it's a lot safer. The trail we were using, it's a little sketchy. We had a, saw a bear on it earlier. And then as you kind of got into the second half of what the trail we were using, there's no ambient light and there's no houses around, which means you were kind of like by yourself on the side of the mountain with trees all around. And, uh, you know, I didn't feel like tested by luck. So the, the challenge, you know, the, the, the point of this challenge is one, push limits, push my personal limits, which I can assure you that's being done. Uh, I've raised money for Infinite Hero and climb the height of Everest, so. finish and that is 29,029 feet. That's it. It's Everest. Just gotta make it to the finish line now. What's the motto? Never again. I mean it. I mean that one. Never again. treadmill uh, I've done it once and you only need to learn it once uh, my name is Evan Preparis I'm a active duty special forces army officer and I'm also a professional obstacle course racer for the conquer the gauntlet protein oh. 